Vamos, vamos, vamos. Se ve por la prisa que va. Ah, vamos tocando ahí. What are you doing, Mark? You're not going parasailing, are you? You should trust your better judgment and stay on the ground. Well, I guess it's too late now. Great job, idiot. Now you're hanging all defenseless hundreds of feet above the Pacific Ocean. If this cord snaps, I'm going to plunge straight into the ocean and get eaten alive by sharks and octopi. As I thought about plummeting to my gruesome, untimely death, I realized that it would be scary being a bird. You know how people always ask, if you could be any animal, what would you be? Most people say an eagle or something like that. Well, hanging 400 feet above the raging ocean, I realized that I don't want to be a bird. Unless it was a, a land bird like an ostrich or pheasant. That'd be alright, running around on the land trying to escape from poachers. There's something about the ocean that's just terrifying. It's interesting that people like to be close to powerful things, but not too close. They want to observe the ocean from a comfortable spot on the beach without being consumed by it. I guess it's the same reason people watch horror movies. They want to experience the thrill from the safety of their living room. Nobody would actually like getting hacked to death with a chainsaw. Why do you always think about negative things, Mark? Think about something positive for once in your life. Alright, on a positive note, the view is pretty nice from up here. Ah, that's a gorgeous sunset. And this tropical breeze feels like a warm hug on my parched Canadian skin. I wonder if people are looking at me from down on the beach. They're probably thinking, Who's that crazy Canadian trying to pretend like he's a bird? Why did I decide to wear my Canada shirt today? Everyone probably thinks I drink soy milk just like Trudeau, but that's not true. I like drinking warm cow milk in the mornings. It helps calm my overactive central nervous system. A few fried eggs, a slice of watermelon, some chia seed pudding. Now that's what I call a breakfast. Well, I'm coming down for landing now. I wonder if they're just going to dump me in the ocean and leave me to drown. Yep, they dumped me alright. Thank God some friendly chaps came to rescue me on a sea -doo. I really owe them my life. And 50 bucks. guys I'm back on planet earth which is where I'm supposed to be not up there in the freaking air I like planet earth how about you do you like planet earth you know this is where I'm supposed to be 
You know, a lot of people think I like adventure and uh, I don't know, I think they, they interpret my traveling uh, as me wanting adventure when really I'm just trying to escape the cold weather in Canada to stay alive. So if you think I'm an adventurous person, <laughs> you're wrong. I'm just trying to just trying to stay alive. Look at these nice waves. Yeah, you know, I just love this warm climate so much. This is you know, that's really what I want. That's what I would that would be my dream life. My dream life would just be to live in a warm place like this. You know, a humid place. I just love humidity, warmth and humidity. You know, just have a small house or something, condo here, and just, just live. That's it, you know? Just do nothing. Just nothing. Stay at home, not go anywhere. I don't want to go anywhere, you know? I don't even want to go to heaven. Do you want to go to heaven? You know, it's funny, a lot of, a lot of religious people think the, the whole goal of life is to go to heaven. You know, actually even a lot of Christians believe that, that the, the goal of your existence is to go to heaven when you die. But that's, that's not the hope of Christianity at all. The hope of Christianity is resurrection from the dead, not drifting off into the clouds, just sitting on a cloud strumming a harp. Actually, that'd be kind of fun. All right, it changed my mind. I want to go to heaven. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I don't. Actually, I love... Look, look at this. Green trees, beautiful sunsets, you know, just a nice view. That's what I want, you know. So I don't want to go to heaven. Let me know. Do you want to go to heaven? But yeah, it, it's, it's interesting that a lot of people think that's the... That's the goal of life, is to, is to get away from here to go to heaven. But uh, maybe I'm one of the odd ones out. But uh, no, you know, if you read the Bible, the Bible's very clear. Jesus was the first physical person to rise from the dead with an incorruptible body. Okay, and now Jesus is reigning as the king over the universe right now and whoever puts their trust in Jesus and welcomes his kingship will also rise physically from the dead and live forever with an incorruptible body with God here not somewhere else not over in the clouds not in outer space somewhere live here that's a really, really hugely misunderstood thing. Maybe heaven's on that island over there. What do you think? Yeah, be, be a nice place to have heaven on a, on a nice tropical island. Kind of like the Isle of Mark. Hey, maybe the Isle of Mark is heaven. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? But, uh, you know, it's, I don't know why Christians believe that and other religious groups believe that. You know, God is a loving Father, which, which means that He wants to live uh, with His family. You know, that's what a loving Father wants. A loving Father wants nothing more than to live, to, to be with His family, His creation. Right now, His creation is not just people. You know, God made trees and animals and stuff like that. Look at those awesome trees there. God loves those trees. God loves animals. God loves his creation. I mean, why would you create something if you don't love it? It's like me with, with Mad English TV. I love, I love Mad English TV. I love you guys. I love my, I don't really love my videos. I actually never watch my videos, but you know, I should, I should like, I should love my videos. I love my channel, right? Because I made it. I, I poured all my energy, investment, money, time into that. So I really love it. So it's the same way God is a loving father who created the world and he loves the world. He's not just going to blast it to smithereens. You know, a lot of people 
I don't know where they get this idea from that, that God is angry, okay? God is an angry God and he's going to, he's going to, he just wants to punish the world. He just wants to scrap the whole thing, send the whole world to hell in a handbasket. That's a mistake. That's a mistake to think that God just wants to scrap everything. No, God wants to make everything new, right? That, that's what the Bible clearly says, right? At the beginning, at the beginning, God made the world and he made human beings as as stewards over his creation, right? So if, if we're doing a good job and taking care of the world, you know, taking care of animals, plants, you know, and, and people, most importantly, right, that makes God happy. If we don't do that, if we don't take care of poor people, if we pollute the environment, cut down all the trees, that's, that's, that's not, because it's God's world, right? The, the very first couple chapters in the Bible make it, make it very clear, God made humans as the, as the peak of his creation, as like the, the best part of his creation, but he gave us dominion over all the works of his hands. Right, so that's what we need to be good stewards. We need to exercise right dominion and make good decisions, you know, as, as like the, do you know what the word steward means in, in, in Christianity? In the Bible, you might see that word steward. A steward is a person who like takes care of, of something, who has like the authority to take care of something, right? So, so that's what God, that's what God did. God made us in charge, put us in charge of the world that's what he wants god wants to live with us the last two chapters of the bible make it really clear that god wants to live here with his people right as a loving father heaven and earth will be joined as one okay, that, that's 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 the hope that's Sorry, I'm getting distracted by these waves. Yeah, they're nice waves. Do you like waves? But uh, anyway, yeah, so, so the future that is presented in the Bible, the future is heaven and earth becoming one in, in consummation, right? The two becoming, becoming one. Heaven is God's space and the earth is human space, right? And they're going to be together again heaven and earth as one, right? It, it talks about a new heavens and a new earth becoming becoming one. And uh, yeah, so God wants to live here with us. That's that's the end of the Bible. So I don't know why, I don't know why people think they're going to drift off and go to heaven when they die. No, the hope of Christianity is a resurrection. <clears throat> Sorry, I got some salt. I think I got some salt in my uh, in my windpipe. This is called your windpipe, your breathing tube. Um, yeah, the, the hope of Christianity is a resurrection from the dead to live with God forever in when God renews, right? The word renew means to make new. When God renews this world, He's not just going to scrap it. So, so that's what it says, you know, God's going to make the world new. We're going to live together with God forever with incorruptible bodies. And there's going to be no more death. Think about that, no more dying. Have you ever known anybody who's died? Man, death is the worst. You know, death is the worst. But God is going to get rid of death. There's going to be no more death. No more, no more pain. No more weeping. No more spiders. I just made that last one up. I, I hope there's no spiders. But you never know, who knows? I, I don't know the future, you know, it's just, it's, uh, you know, we, we just have signposts. We, we don't know for sure. We can't see for sure, you know, because heaven is God's space, right? That's where, that's where Jesus' physical body is. Sometimes people ask the question, where, if Jesus rose from the dead and is physically alive, where is his body? Well, it's, in a, it's like in a dimension we can't see yet in heaven. That's what it says. And we have from heaven his spirit in us in all his people as like a guarantee of the things to come. So in a way there's a represent Jesus is the physical representation in an unseen world and his spirit is the representation in the in the physical world. 
so ultimately in the end the two are going to become one right there's going to be the, the the consummation the great coming together of heaven and earth and that's going to be an amazing celebration so that's what it says that's uh you know that's the hope is to live with god here to live with the god who loves us so much that's 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 the hope of uh of christianity and look at that beautiful sunset well i guess that's my uh that's my sermon for the day smash like if you liked my sermon smash dislike if you hate animals if you hate animals give that big dislike button a smash but uh anyway that was my impromptu sermon for the day impromptu means like off the cuff sudden unplanned if something is impromptu it means you just do it you don't plan it so yeah i don't know just walking around here it's a beautiful beautiful day you know i wonder i was going to look for some shells these look at just look at that sunset isn't that an amazing sunset and uh right here there's no shells i don't know uh, back over there, there were some shells. Let's see if I can find a, a cowrie shell. You know, I really like, there's a certain kind of shell called uh, a cowrie shell. It's like that, it's a kind of shell that, um, boy, where, I don't know where all the shells went. I was walking on the beach before. Maybe if it was over, maybe it was over that way. And uh, there were a whole bunch of shells. So I'm gonna see if I can find another place with some shells. But uh, yeah, I'm just really enjoying this weather, this warm Costa Rican climate. Ah, it's beautiful. Oh, here's some here's some rocks and shells to see. And I see a cowrie shell. Hmm. Let's look up here, see if we can find. Oh, what's this shell? I'm sure this kind of shell has a name, but I don't know what the name is. Or let's see if we can find some some sea glass. You know, sea glass is glass that has been at sea and is like sort of really soft. You know, the you know glass is really sharp, right? You cut your you cut your fingers if you picked it up, but sea glass is like is like. Uh, Oh, look at that. I'm strumming my harp again. I must be so excited to go to heaven and then strum my harp. <laughs> but uh, what's that? What's what's um, what's the word? There's probably a special verb for the process of what happens when glass becomes soft in the ocean. You know, the, the edges, the sand and the, the grit, the grit sort of. Uh, it does this. <laughs> it, it plays a harp. To the to the glass and it makes the glass nice and soft so man i don't know where i should go looking for some sea glass but we're not going to give up the fight to find some sea glass and a cowrie shell come on okay when i walked i was walking over there i saw tons of sea glass and now that i'm making a video can't find a single shred of sea glass anywhere. Oh, this is turning out to be unsuccessful, but uh, at least we have a nice sunset to fall back on if all else fails. Man, isn't that amazing? So let's keep looking here, looking for sea glass and a cowrie shell. Just look at that beautiful sunset, guys. Isn't that glorious? Man, that's just amazing. Anyway, still on our quest, our quest for a cowrie shell and some sea glass. So right now there's, you know, there's different parts on the beach. Right now there's this part of the beach, there's, there's no shells. I don't know why, but um, I think if I keep walking a ways, 
I think I'll get to some shells. But uh, you know, it's one of those things, it's, uh, it's Murphy's Law, right? It's called Murphy's Law. When you don't need something, you know, it's everywhere. <laughs> but the moment you need it, <laughs> it's gone, you can't find it. You know, when I was walking that way on the beach, I just saw tons of sea glass and I found some cowrie shells, but I didn't think to keep them. Anyway, wish you could be here with, with me guys, enjoying this beautiful weather. Hope it's nice weather where you are. Let me know, do you have a nice sunset like that? Man, look at that sun. That's just, it's just gorgeous. Man, I'm just thoroughly enjoying this so much. I mean, imagine what it would be like in the cold winter wasteland back in Calgary. Oh, wow, I'm so happy I, I can enjoy this weather, enjoy this warm climate. When I come to climates like this, it's, uh, it, it, it's just, my skin, my whole body feels great, but my skin probably more than anything. My skin feels really good, so. Well guys, I think we failed. I failed in my mission to find sea glass and a cowrie shell. But uh, just want to say thank you guys for joining me today in my airborne adventure and my walk on the beach and uh, just look at that you can just see the sun there dipping below the horizon but you can say when the sun is at that point it's 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 dipping right the sun is half gone in how many seconds do you think it's going to be completely gone i'll just wait here until it's completely gone man that's gorgeous probably in like 10 seconds it's going to be gone 10 9 Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I was wrong. Okay. So there's just a sliver. You can just see a sliver of the sun there. Okay, it's gonna be gone any second. <laughs> Man, didn't know this flat earth was spinning so fast. Come back here, son. I need you. Come back. Uh, there's just a tiny sliver left. All right, it is gone. <laughs> it's gone. Well, tomorrow's another day. It's gonna rise again. Somewhere over there. It's gonna rise again, just like our physical bodies. Well. I'll bid you guys farewell for from here in uh, beautiful Costa Rica. Hope you're having a great day wherever you are. Give you one last shot of these nice waves here. And uh, once again, I wish you could join me here. And we could go on a walk together on the beach. Oh, it's gonna get my shorts all wet. Better, better escape the ocean before it sucks me in. And I get eaten alive by octopi. Well, take care guys and I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. <laughs> take care.